Hi everyone, this is Phil from Mid Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Carcanos in Arc Aberration. The Carcanos is a giant crab that is available in Arc Aberration. It's rather challenging to tame, and that's due to the fact that it cannot be tranquilized with the use of darts or arrows or anything like that. What you have to do to tranquilize it is to use cannons or catapults, similar to the golems in Scorched Earth. The easiest way to do that is to pen it into a pen like this, get a behemoth gate and some stone pillars that will funnel it towards an elevated catapult turret on a platform above the pen. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make the Carcanos come into the gate and do make sure that your pillars are at least three high, not too high like I did here. Ended up run running away for that. And no, so if you have it three high, the Carcanos will get trapped in the pen and you can just run around and close the gate behind you and you've got yourself a penned in Carcanos. Now all you have to do is knock the thing out. So you climb up onto your catapult, and you're going to want to shoot at the body of the Carcanos, not the arms. If you shoot at the arms, it won't take torpor damage, but it will take a buttload of physical damage, and it will die uh, pretty quickly. Once the Carcanos is down, it's just a simple matter of putting either Carbonimus kibble or spoiled meat into its inventory. You can use either narco berries or narcotics to maintain the torpidity of the Carcanos, so you don't have to continually hit it with a catapult in order to keep the darned thing asleep. Now, after a while, you will then have your very own Carcanos, which is great. I mean, giant crabs, who doesn't love that? Once it's tamed, you're gonna need to get yourself a saddle, and the saddle unlocks at level 65, so this is by no means a low-level creature. And in order to manufacture it, you're going to need 80 blue crystal, 225 fiber, 200 fungal wood, and 170 hide. You're going to manufacture it in the smithy, and you do that by going to the saddles tab and just clicking on the Carcanos saddle engram. The Carcanos has several different attacks. It has a left click and right click attack, which can be used in combination. You can also hold on to creatures by holding the left click or right click respectively to grab two creatures in either claw. If you wish to, you can also throw those creatures by pressing the C key. And more importantly, what you can do is you can hold on to the creature and then tranquilize it. That's right, the Carcanos is basically a walking taming pen, allowing for the easiest tames you can imagine. So, which makes up for the hard tame it was to actually get this crab in the first place. So, not only is it a really handy utility crab, it's also a good mobility crab. You can jump great distances on a Carcanos, and you do that by holding the space bar, a little reticle will pop up, and wherever that reticle is pointing is exactly where the crab will try to jump. I mean, it's not foolproof, you might fall and hurt yourself, so do be aware of that, and by fall and hurt yourself, I'm not kidding, Carcanoses do take fall damage, they are not immune to that. Do you know any other cool uses for the Carcanos? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment, or better yet, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have fun out there.